Hey, it's Aurelius. Have you ever thought about creating your own membership site, but when you go out and look at how to do it or which plugins and platforms to use, you get confused, you get stuck and overwhelmed and eventually not launch your membership site at all. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a really easy way to start and launch your membership site starting today. So keep watching and I'll share all the details in the video. All right, first and foremost, I must say that this method I'm about to share with you does have its limitations uh, in terms of flexibility and advanced features. Uh, things like if you want to ever integrate some sort of social aspect to it, such as a forum, or if you want to be able to manage members more with more flexibility, then this method is not for you because this is really purely in a way for those who want to basically provide content and training to their members and students. So if you're a coach, consultant, this works perfectly for you because what you're basically going to do is drip feed content in a way uh, so that members get it on a periodic set fixed basis based on obviously what you set. So there are only basically two things that you need, uh, three if you're counting content, of course, for the members area. So the first thing you need is your email marketing platform if you have one already and most of you probably do and so if you don't have one I, rec I can recommend tools such as GetResponse, Aweber, Drip, ConvertKit, Entreport, there's so many others but all these essentially do the same thing and the main feature that you need is the autoresponder so then you can set your messages uh, based on the predetermined uh, cycle so let's say one message every single month, one message every single day or once a week really depends on the context of what you're teaching and your idea and what you want to provide to your members. And so all you need is firstly your autoresponder and next you need a payment processor obviously so then you can collect your payment subscriptions and collect those and then members can join and then PayPal will do basically all the rest. And that's what you need. You need a payment processor such as PayPal. Alternatively, you can also use Stripe, uh, but most people do prefer PayPal since it's the most trusted payment processor. And so once you have that payment processor, you can. there's no integration required really. There's nothing that you need to code. So if you're not, not tech savvy, then this method is for you. A few years back, this is, many years back actually, I coined the term micro-membership. And a micro-membership is basically what it says. It is a membership site that's small, it's micro. Uh, it doesn't have all these widgets, these uh, gadgets that you don't really need, these extra plugins and tools. So purely just a way to deliver content to your members on a periodic basis. So you kind of know the gist of it already. You use an autoresponder, you accept payments via PayPal or Stripe and members join basically right after they make a payment. The download or thank you page should take them to a page where it has your web form code or that is another word for it, it is an opt-in form. And it's basically the same opt-in form that you would use on your blog or for your lead magnet and you use that basically on your thank you or download page, success page. And members basically put in their name, email, and PayPal email address, then click join. And basically they'll be then be set and stored in the right campaign for your membership. So let's say you create a campaign called uh, for golf, improve your golf swing. So that is your membership site or what, what your members have paid for or what they join for and improve your golf swing. So once they join that campaign, they'll start from day zero, which is a welcome message that basically says, hey, thanks for joining and uh, you know appreciate you joining this uh, membership and here's your first lesson. Now your lesson could be an email format or you could provide it as a PDF ebook or you could get them to a dedicated uh, page for lesson one, which you can call 
And that lesson basically, or that page provides the content for lesson one. In my case, I've got an example of one of my sites. I basically provide two eBooks a month, which they can resell. So excuse this uh, pause for a minute, because what I'm doing is I'm going to show you in my GetResponse account how it looks like. So GetResponse has this feature called autoresponders, which many of the other email marketing campaigns also do have. They may also call it something else as well, but look out for something like that. Could be preloaded messages, something like along those lines, or well, autoresponders is the most common, but here's what it looks like. We've got welcome. So pack one. So I call it pack one since my members receive two ebooks a month and that is considered one package or one pack. When they read the email, basically what they see is a thank you for joining the members area. Here's your first pack, here's where to go, here's the URL, and here's a password to actually access the page. So what you can do if you want to take that next step to protect your page is to password protect it. Now, how do you password protect? If you're using WordPress, this is really simple. All you need to do is go to pages and on the page that you've created where your content sits at, there's a way you can actually set a password so provide that password for your members in that particular lesson or pack uh, for that email. And that's how you do it. And all you need to do is rinse and repeat for all the rest of the lessons or packs that you have in your sequence. Speaking of all this, you know, the content, and everything, what I love about it and what, you know, the real beauty of the micro membership uh, method is that all you need to do is be, be able to provide one well, the first lesson, just to start, it doesn't mean you don't. You need 10 lessons and then you can launch your membership site. I actually launched this uh, membership site of mine uh, with just one pack. And then as we progressed, that's when I added more and more. And you can see by the cycle, I've got the first message going out immediately, obviously, since they get instant access to the product and the next goes out 30 days after, then 60 days after they've signed up, 90 days, and so on. So every 30 days, they get a new pack. But yours could be lesson one. Here's how to improve your golf swing uh, using this technique. And that could be uh, your lesson one for week one. All right. If, it, if you do send it out on a weekly basis, you could do it on a monthly basis, but really depends on your audience and how much they can consume at one time. And uh, that's what's great about this micro membership uh, method. It's a way to provide content uh, that is more uh, consumable. And since, you know, people do suffer from information overload. So if you give them like a 200 page ebook, what are the chances of them actually going through it? Um, so if you do have some sort of course or ebook already up there, then why not break it down and then put it in a way and so structure it in a way so that it's uh, more in a drip fed uh, method so they can digest it easier. So that's another method uh, of putting content. Now, I'm not sure what content you have, but uh, think about how you can provide value to members so that it is worth them staying as a member. And the whole aim of a membership site also for profitability is to retain members, to get them to stay, all right? And it's uh, one of the beauties of having a membership site is predictable income, predictable recurring income. And that's kind of why I started as well. I didn't want to sell one-off products and um, hope to see them later on and to purchase another product. What I did was offer this as a you know recurring offer and you'd be surprised how many members actually do want uh, regular content or packs or ebooks from you. So this is a way to essentially get your idea of a membership site out there without thinking so much about which membership site or tool platform should I use, uh, you know, payment processes, checking out, how do I put this all together? Like I said, all you need is an autoresponder, your payment processor, Put it together. There's no integration or code required 
obviously if you do have a sales page to sell it, which you need to have, which sells your membership site, you need to have your order button code, put it down, uh, you know, in the call to action section. So then after they click it, they go on the checkout page, you know, let's say PayPal. After they check out, they land on your download or thank you page. And then they see that opt-in form where they subscribe. Then they automatically get stored into that particular campaign where then they'll be drip fed all your preloaded messages. And that's all there really is. You know, there's no expensive software to use, no expensive tools. There's no learning curve really to learn how to use a particular membership uh, platform. So that is the gist of this micro membership uh, method. I do have a couple of other related videos in terms of this, uh, but this video does shed pretty much everything and there's not much really to explain about this method. It's just about doing it. You can get it up today if you wanted to. That's exactly how what I did. I heard about this method. I learned about it. They did it their own way. I, I did it with mine based on my own content. I pretty much launched it to my subscribers and they, you know, uh, a few hours later, I received dozens of orders and that's been running for like 10 years now. I'm proud to say it. So get your membership site up and running. Don't procrastinate. There's no reason for you not to get it up. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and got a lot of value. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down below. And I'm looking forward to sharing more videos like this with you.